Hi again, in this video we are talking about should I choose the magistrate judge? Okay, so here's what happens. This is general legal information only, not legal advice, okay? So when you, what happens, you get in federal district court, you file a lawsuit or somebody's suing you. Lots of times what you're gonna see is you're being assigned a magistrate judge. Now realize in federal court you have two things. You have the district court judge this is the big wig. This is the judge that's been appointed by a president and confirmed by the Senate of the United States. So the, the district court judges, that is big deal. They sit for life. Okay, They have jobs for life. On the other hand, the district court judges get really busy. They do a lot of criminal, federal criminal trials, felony trials. And what happens in the felony court system is they get a lot of cases. In criminal law, if you know anything about criminal law, you get a right to a speedy trial. So you have this situation where there's a lot of cases going on and not only the, the criminal trials, but you also have the civil uh, cases that are going on. So the district court judges can get very, very, very busy and there's just not enough of them to go around. So what they have is magistrate judges over here. They have magistrate judges that assist the district court judges. Now, some of the stats I read is there's something like five, six, seven hundred magistrate judges. Look that up. I'm not sure on the number, but there's several hundred magistrate judges around the United States into the different federal circuit courts. Okay, and so these these judges are there to help the district court judge to help relieve some of the caseload and get some of these other cases going that can maybe be handled better by a magistrate judge. The magistrate judges are essentially chosen by their peers. They're, these, they are seriously vetted. They go through this interviewing process. Um, a lot of times they have to have a lot of years of litigation experience, 10, 15, 20 years. They have to be approved by the district judges. So they go through this process. You're getting the cream of the crop here, okay? So you're getting people from the top law schools, um, ex-prosecutors, district attorneys, public defenders, all these things, uh, partners from law firms. So you're getting really a high level of judge. It just happens to be a magistrate judge and not a district court judge. So it's important to understand the difference. But at the end of the day, they're lawyers. Um, you're going to be dealing with people that understand the law and the legal issues. Now, why you would want to have a magistrate judge and what the courts usually ask for is your consent to it because you can say, I don't want the magistrate. I want the district court judge. I want to be in there with that super judge that was appointed by President Clinton or President Obama or President Reagan. OK, you see a lot of those. President Bush. I want I want that judge. Um, you can also try to find out who your magistrate judge is. You may say, well, you know what? This magistrate judge would work pretty good because I can see they have a deep background in intellectual property law or copyright law. That would be really helpful to our case. Um, and so the nice benefit about consenting to the magistrate judge is usually the magistrate judges are not going to be quite as busy. Um, not, if I told them that, they would say, are you crazy? We're swamped. But anyway, they may have some more time for your case. It may be better for pro se litigants, attorney uh, clients that represent themselves. And the, the magistrate judges, basically, they sit for shorter terms. I believe what I understand is about eight years for a full time. They serve for an eight year term if you're a full time magistrate and four years if you're a part time. So there could be some changing of hands. The, remember, the federal judges sit for life. That's an important trivia fact on good behavior, on good behavior. So, so uh, anyway, so that's the system. So with the magistrate, another benefit, you might get to a trial quicker. You might hear your motions quicker. Um, it just may be a more streamlined process. No guarantees, of course. You never know what you're going to get in the legal system. But if you're faced with that decision, do I need a magistrate? Should I consent to the magistrate judge? Um, if you need legal representation, give us a call. You can find out more information on our website, attorneysteve.com, attorneysteve.com. All right? Business, real estate, intellectual property cases. We're here to help. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, make sure you like us. Share this video on your social media networks and don't forget to hit that red V wherever they're putting it these days and subscribe to our legal channel. We look forward to working with you. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Carpe diem. All right. <laughs>